The Four Seasons Kuala Lumpur Executive Lounge, or what I call Club Lounge, claim to be one of the best in the city. Is that so? Let's find out. Hi, welcome to Danny on the Go Special Season 3. I'm Danny. Review begins in 14 seconds from now. The Four Seasons Kuala Lumpur is located right in the city centre, which is just beside KLCC Petronas building. One may access to the executive lounge by staying in the club room, which what I did. I have made a video on my review on the club room and hotel itself. You may click on the link above to check it out if you haven't watched that. Appreciate you will subscribe my channel as well as it means a lot to me. Guests may need to use the lift from the ground lobby to get to the reception lobby at level 6B and from there we'll need to transit to another set of lift which will access to all guest room and the executive lounge. No worry, there will be friendly staff standing by all the time at the lift area if you need assistance. The executive lounge is located at level 7B, a level above the hotel facilities level at level 7A. It's a little complicated on the level arrangement as this building is shared with the Four Seasons residences. Meaning on the same level 7B, half of the building is executive lounge while the other half belongs to the residences and in this case is the residences facilities but guests cannot access to it when using the lift. In this brilliant idea, guests may have the perception that the executive lounge occupies the whole entire level 7B. Upon coming out from the lift, Guests will lead to the entrance of the executive lounge. The office or the executive lounge reception area is the first place to see and here is where I do my check-in and check-out when staying in the club room. The staffs here are super friendly and helpful and the space inside is clean and bright with lots of seatings. The washroom is on the right as we see here. There are three sections generally and the first section is where the wine rack is where adjacent to the outdoor patio. It was locked during my stay for safety reason as it was raining outside. The second section is the buffet area on the left while on the right has lots of comfortable seating from sofa to dining tables. They even have two TV and TV racks with books on each side here. The third section is more seating with ceiling to floor glass window where one can admire at the beautiful KLCC park outside. This is the ladder of executive lounge, which handed to the guests upon check-in. You may pause the video to read through but generally I will highlight a few points here. The club lounge operates from 7am till 9pm, serving breakfast from 7am till 10.30am. Afternoon tea is from 3pm till 5pm and evening cocktail is from 6pm till 8pm. 
Snacks and refreshments are served throughout the day. Children below 16 are not allowed to enter during evening cocktail time and the dress code is smart casual. Last and not least, smoking is not allowed even at the outdoor patio. Let's look at the first meal of the day, the breakfast. Various food are served at the buffet area. The cereal section is on the right, while hot dishes are on the left. We will start with Nasi Lemak, the favorite Malay food for all locals, followed by Chinese food like fried noodles and dim sum, as well as porridge. Then we have exotic fruits, cheese, and cold meat. After that, we see some fusion western food like braised chicken, vegetables, beans, sausages, and bacon. The pastries, desserts, and bread section is at the end here. Food may not be as variety as the general restaurant breakfast, but the quality is there. As for the afternoon tea, there will be three-tier rack of snack served with the variety of beverages option and in my case, I've ordered a pot of jasmine tea here. The first tier consists of sweeties, second tier are the sandwiches, while the last tier are scones. Meanwhile, in the fridge, there are freshly squeezed fruit juices available. At the buffet table, also some cut fruits are served. In the evening cocktail, it's the time I need stomach filling food. But cocktail is meaningless without alcoholic drinks. We see there are many of them here. As I'm not a drinker, so these are just for viewers like you to see. I am eyeing all the food section next to it. Appetizers like salad and fruits are placed next to it. Followed by cold meat like smoked duck and veal with various kinds of cheese at the side here. Then comes the main dish like fried rice, beef pasta, stew duck, cheesy spinach, steamed vegetables, and deep-fried prawn balls. Inside the fridge are freshly squeezed fruit juices and cold dishes. The meals cannot end with some delicious desserts like we see here. Chocolates mini macarons, and some local cities are something to enlighten. Not many hotel executive lounge serve quality food, but the Four Seasons Executive Lounge is definitely one of them. I even have a caviar here. One can surely take this as a dinner rather than an evening cocktail. 
To add on, guests can admire at the beautiful view of KLCC Park while having their view. From day view to night view, it's something to make someone go speechless. To my experience, the Four Seasons Executive Lounge may not be one of the best, but definitely one of the top five, especially the quality of food. This is my rating for the Executive Lounge. Do you have any other things to add on besides what I have shown? If you have any questions, please leave them at the comment section below. Hope you liked the video and I will be looking forward to see you again on my next video. Till then, bye!